it was about time. Uh, I felt that it was necessary. It was something that he needed to announce because for me personally, um, to see him sign his new deal just uh, before last season, to see the tears, uh, to see the emotion, to see how happy he was that the organization had placed such a level of faith in him, and then for uh, a one season to go by and to see him take a complete 180, knowing the high-quality character guy that he is, it just said to me that something went uh, uh, dreadfully wrong in Houston uh, with, with, with its executive branch. Something's going on there, uh, their treatment of him, their treatment of other players, et cetera, and D Deshaun Watson has had enough. And I think that that warrants an investigation as to what exactly has transpired within that organization that would force him to take such a strong, strong stance the way that he has. That's what jumped out in my mind. More importantly, I want to get Damian Woody in here to hear what he has to say, but that's to answer your question di directly, Molly. That's what really jumped out at me. Something dreadful must have happened. They did something to that man, and there is something going on with that organization. And then to see him come out with this public announcement just a morning after an African-American had been hired to be the head coach of this franchise, it almost seemed to be as if Deshaun Watson was saying, nah, we ain't playing that game. You're not going to sit up here and use this new hire to disguise what the hell is going on with this organization, which indicates to me something uh, in regards to uh, some kind of racial situation may have taken place there as well because you hire an African-American coach, and on that morning, Deshaun Watson chooses to make this decision official and public. He's saying to the Texans organization, you're not getting away with this. People are going to know what the hell is going on. They're going to ask the right questions. I'm not going to let this fly under the rug. <clears throat> That's what I took from it. Listen, I, I, I think that we haven't really heard um, from Deshaun Watson as far as uh, actually him saying anything. But there are two other people that are within that organization as far as players are concerned that speak volumes to, what, to the way that Deshaun Watson feels right now. J.J. Watt. Every, everyone that's seen that clip of J.J. Watt after, I forgot the game, it was at the end of the season, after the game, after a tough loss. And J.J. Watt wraps his arm around Deshaun Watson and was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we've wasted your, your season, a season where the whole team around him was bad, worse than bad. But Deshaun Watson played like an MVP this past season. And J.J. Watt comes out one of the, maybe, the argu maybe arguably the best player in the Houston Texans organization comes out and apologizes to Deshaun Watson. Andre Johnson, the most decorated wide receiver in that Houston Texans organization, one of the most decorated players in that Houston Texans organization, that has anyone that knows Andre Johnson, he's not the most verbal guy. He's a quiet guy. And for him to come out and eviscerate the Houston Texans organization and basically tells Deshaun Watson to get out of there, don't waste your career in that organization. To me, hearing those two things from those two guys that have played in that organization should let you know where Deshaun Watson is coming from right now. Boy, that's a great point. The two, really, the two icons in the history of that organization. Mm -hmm. Both of them on the same page about mm -hmm. Deshaun Watson. Stephen A., you highlighted J.J. Watt earlier. But right, J.J. Watt and Andre Johnson. Um, this is my thought. This is going to be the biggest trade in the history of the NFL. Never before has anything like this happened. Think about what I'm saying carefully. Never before has anything like this happened. Don't tell me about Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker was great, and running backs were more important back then, and Dallas built what turned out to be a dynasty behind that trade. But Herschel Walker and running backs back then are not quarterbacks today. The quarterback's the whole shooting match today. And you got the number two guy in the business. Like, I'm talking about trade value. One is Patrick Mahomes, and there's no one more valuable as a tradable commodity, as an asset, than Deshaun Watson. We're hoping Trevor Lawrence lives up to his potential and one day becomes Deshaun Watson. That's if he lives up to it. Justin Herbert, too, who I'm very high on. Joe Burrow, too, who I'm very high on. 
I love Josh Allen. He's great. Deshaun Watson's better than jo Josh Allen. I love Lamar Jackson. He's great. Deshaun Watson is better than Lamar Jackson. Maybe Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers. Maybe you'd prefer them. They're 37 and 32. Deshaun Watson's 25. Other than Patrick Mahomes, this is the most valuable asset in the NFL, even though he's not on his rookie deal anymore. In a way, it's good. It gives you stability. You know he's locked up. You have to worry about contract right now. And this dude's about to get moved for, I, I, I would guess, given what Jalen Ramsey and other positions went for, at, it, the bidding starts at three first-round draft picks. And then I think, guys, <laughs> Stephen A., you alluded to it. We, we spoke about it. We spoke about it in the first hour. They hire Cully, an African-American head coach. Good for them. Obviously, this is the first one hired this offseason. You know, there have been multiple jobs. First African-American coach, way underrepresented in the head coaching department. He's 65 years old. That means he's not in their long-term plans. This is not a 10-year plan. May not be a five-year plan. It's not a long-term plan. And I don't think it's coincidental that though Watson requested this weeks ago, they make public, oh, look at our big announcement, which seems like a PR move, right? Like, look at how, oh, we hired an African-American coach. Deshaun Watson doesn't seem to me like he's having it. Uh-uh-uh, we're not going to play that. You know what? I'm going public with this. I want out. Um, it's going to be the big Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.